Good morning and welcome to the February Cathedral Tots, which we are celebrating the Festival of Candlemas. For those of you who've never joined us before, welcome to your very first Cathedral Tots. For those of you who are returning after a short break, uh, we are very, very pleased to have you with us today. My name is Becky and I am the Head of Family Engagement and Schools at Guildford Cathedral and Cathedral Tots is one of my absolute most favourite things to do. So I'm really pleased that we can be here today to worship together, even though we can't meet in our beautiful building. It's wonderful to be able to have a worship opportunity with you. At the start of Cathedral Tots, we always sing a song to welcome everybody. If you've done this before, do feel free to join in. And if you haven't, it's very simple, so I'm sure you'll be able to join in with us. There are some actions, so we'll start with those. Tap, tap, clap, clap, wave, 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 wave. Tap, tap, clap, clap, wave, 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 wave. Let's say hello to all the girls. Hello, hello, hello. Let's say hello to all the girls. Hello, hello, hello. Let's say hello to all the boys. Hello, hello, hello. Let's say hello to all the boys. Hello, hello, hello. Let's say hello to everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Let's say hello to everyone. Hello, hello, hello. And now, it's time for us to listen to our story. This story is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 21 to 40, and tells the story of the presentation of Jesus, which is the story we mark at the celebration of the Christian festival of Candlemas. A little while after Jesus was born, Mary and Joseph took him to the temple in Jerusalem for a special dedication. There was an elderly man named Simeon at the temple. The Spirit of God had promised Simeon that he would live long enough to meet the Saviour. When Simeon held baby Jesus in his arms, he knew he had seen the Saviour and he was filled with joy. He told Mary and Joseph that Jesus would be a light to all nations and the glory of the people of Israel. Mary and Joseph were amazed to hear these words. There was also a widow called Anna, who was 84 years old and worshipped at the temple. When she saw Jesus, she knew that he was the saviour of the world and she gave thanks to God. The story of Simeon and Anna that we hear at Candlemas tells the story of the presentation of the baby Jesus at the temple. This traditionally would have happened when Jesus was a very small baby and was an important rite of passage to acknowledge the gift of a baby into this world. Simeon and Anna, both very elderly members of the population, had been waiting, waiting for Jesus, waiting for the Saviour. And they gave a special thanks to God that day for that incredibly special gift, who as soon as they held the baby, they just knew that he was the one who had come to save us. What an incredible gift. We remember at this time that God gives us many gifts in many different forms. And we remember to be thankful for all of the wonderful things that we have, that we are given and that we are able to share with others. And so we're now going to say a quick prayer. And at Cathedral Tots, we have a drill which schools across the diocese and churches across the diocese also use just to make sure that we're really ready to have a few extra special moments with God. And so we wiggle our fingers as we say one to get all our wiggles out. Wiggle, 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 out they go. We fold our arms as we still ourselves and prepare for our prayer. And on three, we bow our heads and you can close your eyes if you'd like to. Dear God, we thank you for not only the gift of Jesus, but also all the other gifts that you give to us in various forms every day and throughout our lives. We ask you to help us remember to be faithful, especially in times when we cannot be together. But we remember 
that everybody in our lives is a gift and can bring something to us. And we thank you that we are also gifts to them. Amen. So I have a challenge for you uh, for this week, which is to try and think of at least one thing every day that you are thankful for. It could be an object in your house or that you see outside. It could be a person. It could be your favourite food, your favourite toy, your favourite song. It could be anything. But to try and remember to be thankful. And if you have a moment to stop and say a prayer, maybe you could say that prayer at least once each day, just to help remind us that we are given so many gifts all of the time. And that's the end of our Cathedral Tot session for today. But just to finish, we will sing our goodbye song. This is exactly the same as the hello song, just with the word goodbye. So if you'd like to join in, tap, 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 wave, 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 tap, tap, clap, clap, wave, 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 wave. Let's say goodbye to all the girls, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let's say goodbye to all the girls, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let's say goodbye to all the boys, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let's say goodbye to all the boys, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let's say goodbye to everyone, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Let's say goodbye to everyone, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you for joining us today. Please do keep an eye on our Facebook website and social media to find out when we will be offering our next Cathedral Tots video and some other activities that can help you to keep in touch with uh, the cathedral whilst we're not able to worship together in the building. Pray you all keep safe and well and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon.